who had been friends with Brick Lady for 13 years comes out and debunks the whole story. Y'all not going to want to miss this. I'm about to play a clip, and she's going to be on live tonight, but wait, I'm going to play this clip, and all I'm going to say is it's going to be a lot of apologizing going on, ladies. I don't even want to bring it to y'all, but I got to bring y'all the truth. Here it is. First saw the video, I just went again. And not again, like, you know, oh, something bad happened to her. I'm like, she doing this again? Again? Yes. What did she say happened that night and what actually happened that night? She basically said she was beat up by four black security guards. Four Out of 200 people, mostly black, you know, may have been a white person here or there, mostly black people. That VIT says she's the reason we can't get in the club. She was trying to fight all of us. I said, oh, okay. And she ended up getting dragged by black females. She like do like some kind of insurance scam, went to Virgin Islands, and then that's how she ended up in Texas. She got $50,000 in a settlement. Now, in that clip, she's talking about a 2020 incident when she scammed, allegedly scammed from a security and, and, and the club ended up suing. It's a, you're going to have to do the story, not the APM lie. Long story short, she, Brick Lady said it was for black security that beat her up, quote, quote unquote. But it was actually, she got beat up by women that she started something with. And scammed again. Rhoda Osman, the brick lady, appears to be a scammer that uses victimhood to create GoFundMes. Her first incident was in 2020. She claimed she was assaulted by a dollar store security guard. One thing that I've learned in my short years on this earth is never talk about a situation that you know little to nothing about. In case you don't know what's been going on over the last couple of days, this woman has been going viral. A Somalian woman who apparently was attacked by a man for not giving her number to him. She then apparently was struck with a brick, had to go to the hospital, that's why she looks like this. Now, this is why I say don't speak on anything unless you know the whole story. Because since this story came out, it's been going viral, it's all over the internet. And because of this, somehow, black men have been blamed for what has happened to this woman. And I thought it was very, very strange. Um, I don't know if this woman was really hit with a brick. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't know, I wasn't there. But there's been a lot of things that have come out since then. She claims that there were a whole bunch of black men, black men specifically, that were standing around and did not come to her aid. Which is very funny because there's been quite a bit of videos that have come out that say otherwise. Literally, she was right there talking about, I got hit with the brick, you know? You know, we was trying to help her, that's all we was trying to do. You see what I'm saying? We was trying to help her. I called the police and stuff like that. They pulled up. I talked to them. I know they got the video. So apparently there were some men that actually did try to help her, that did try to come to her aid and even called the police. Apparently there's even a video out. I don't know if there is. I don't know if there is. But honestly, I think there's a deeper issue than just this woman apparently getting hit with a brick. This is all it took for the black community to turn on each other. And it's very disappointing. When you really think about it, this is exactly what happened. Y'all watched a video about a woman who made an accusation about something that happened to her. Y'all don't know this woman. Y'all don't know what actually happened. Y'all weren't there. Y'all don't know who's telling the truth. And that's all it took for y'all to just go around and blame black men for everything. Not all black women did this, of course, but sadly there were quite a bit that did. Even going as far as to call us bullet bags. And while we sit here like a bunch of idiots on the internet arguing with each other about what happened and what didn't happen, even though realistically none of y'all were there, this woman started a GoFundMe and got $40,000 out of it. I also think it's really odd that somehow black men got blamed, but did anybody ever bother to actually be mad at the man who apparently hit her with a brick? And we still have not seen this person who hit her with a brick. We're supposed to be preaching about black unity all the time, but yet all it took was a video for us to be at each other's throats. The reason why black women don't care about the man who allegedly hit her with a brick is because they don't really care about this situation. This situation, to them, has just affirmed what they already believe. So they get a chance to vent. And what this situation has exposed to me is actually how unhappy a lot of black women are. You know, what, 25% of black women will get married. The majority of black women are not only alone, but they can't get along with men. And they believe that it's, it's, it's a man's fault.
you know, men haven't changed. Black women are the most masculine. Situation like this comes up where black men look bad and it gives them, you know, validation. Like, yes, I can't get along with them because of them. It's them. Look at them. Look, look at what they're doing. They're not protectors. They're pieces of shit. They're not doing anything. They don't care about women. This is why we can't get along. This is why I'm alone. Now, look, am I surprised about these allegations that she could potentially be a scammer? Yes, I am surprised. I thought that she was just one of those unlucky women who encountered a crazy man. You know, I know just like, you know, there are crazy men out there. I thought she was just unlucky. She got hit with a brick. She didn't want to give her number up. You know, it was her unlucky day. But even the big corporations do this, right? You want to get money out of women, you make them emotional because they will make decisions based on that emotion. You know, in this situation, women are going to go and do a background check to see if she'd done this before. They don't care. They feel a certain type of way, they're going to act on that. And now she's up 40,000. Congratulations to her. I've never been called a bullet bag before. And I can admit that don't feel good. This situation right here perfectly encapsulates what's wrong with our generation. So this creator here is receiving like a ridiculous amount of backlash for this specific video. Where he made clear that he would only ever put his life in danger to protect women that he knows. Like his mother, his sister, or his girl. He's not just going to throw his life away for some random chick. See, I'm not sure if y'all remember that man, but let me show you a video that he posted about two weeks ago. So somebody can tell you your girl got a couple trains run on her and it wouldn't affect you. Please believe me when I say it. No. It wouldn't affect me. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't give a fuck. What I find hilarious about all of this is the surprise, right? Like, two weeks ago, this man told the world that he doesn't care if his girl had a couple trains ran on her. Now y'all expect this same man to be like this alpha male traditional, I'll step in if a woman needs me type. I completely understand wanting the best of both worlds, like this super progressive, like metrosexual male who's also super manly, but doesn't care about your body count and also doesn't mind. If you have like a couple trains ran on you, but will also like defend your honor, like a knight in shining armor who uses his aggression to defend you but he better like not be aggressive in any other circumstance or else he'd probably just be perpetuating some like toxic masculinity bullshit it's insane that i have to like specifically spell this out for you right i need you to look at me here okay the kind of man who is okay with you getting a train ran on you or several trains ran on you will probably not be the kind of man who goes out of his way to defend women in public. Understand that the best predictor for future behavior is past behavior. Every individual, every action we take rhymes, right? We follow the same exact pattern of logic when we make the choices that we make. See what y'all are doing, y'all are looking at a fish that you know is a fish and then expecting that fish to climb a tree. It already showed you it's a fish. Like it, it can't do any more than show you that it's a fucking fish. Fix your expectations. It's just like the woman who said that she wants a, a liberal guy with conservative values. It makes no sense. You know, and it's just like I say with these masculine women, right? You're, you're not going to get a masculine man. You're going to get a feminine man who's accepting, who's, who's, who's in acceptance of your masculinity, right? So you can't then expect him to be masculine. That don't make no sense. It doesn't make any sense. Telling him he needs to change his physical appearance to be desired by women, that's a lie. I actually know it's truth. If you are not six feet tall, have a good physique, have good facial structure, good bones, it's over. <laughs> it's over. You will be weeded out of the gene pool. And yeah, I'll admit I've definitely bit into the black pill. Some people might call that more of an incel take, but the difference between me and the incels is that I don't blame women for my problems. I'm the reason that I got here. Like, I... I, I Take full responsibility for myself. I don't believe that people are shallow for having standards at all. Because I have standards. A woman might not want me because I'm fat. And, you know, I might not want her because she has a body count of like 30. You know, standards are standards. But the, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how rich you are, how kind or charming. It all matters is how you look. And that's a hill that I will gladly die on. Look, I hope nobody watching is this guy or thinks like this guy because it's just not real. You know, you hear like Fresh and Fit, for example, they will say things like this. But people don't understand that the women that Fresh and Fit and people like that are talking about are like the top 1% of women who most men are not even going to get the chance to be around. Yeah, then you might have to be six foot and have six figures. But generally speaking, you don't. Some of the men that are most successful with women are not attractive. They're just very confident. And that's 
kind of all you need. And you know, maybe you're not attractive enough to have a standard where you won't date a woman with a high body count. But there are women who would want you. So this idea that you have to be, you know, this good looking great goddess or whatever to, to attract women, or you have to be super rich, it's just cap. I mean, Pookie and Ray Ray's, they're broke and bummy. But they get all the women. Why? Because they, they're just really confident. I just wanted to really get on here and give a special shout out for shout out to men who take care of other men's children. And the man who steps up to be that great stepfather and leads those children in the right direction along with that mother is very strong. It I see that men get called weak because they raising another man's child. That's not being weak. That's called a man. A man is very, 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 very far from weak for stepping up to the plate and taking care of a responsibility that he did not create. A lot of single mothers who go after weak men. Right. Mm -hmm. So women will, a lot of women will tell you all day, oh, being a stepdaddy is honorable. And a lot of them, they know damn well that man ain't going to get nothing out of it. They know damn well that they can up and leave, take half of his income, get get uh get alimony, depending on if they are able to swindle him into legally adopting the children, they can put him on child support. In certain states, you don't even have to put them, you don't even have to have the man legally adopt him. If you can prove that he played a father figure role, you can put that man on child support. When men decide to take on responsibilities that are not theirs, they're taking a very big risk. I do not, me personally, because I can only speak for me, I don't, I do not see how it's worth it. Look, my stance on being a stepfather or stepfathers has always been consistent. I think it's very 50-50. Sometimes it works out great. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing, but it's something that I would never do personally. I think there are a lot of men who date women with children who don't think they can do better. And there are a lot of men who date women with children who generally don't care. They don't care that she has a kid. It's not a problem for them. Maybe they had a stepfather and it was a good experience. So them being a stepfather, it's not a big deal. But for me, I just don't have a level of empathy in order to date a woman with children. So I'll never do it. Um, but I don't, I don't necessarily look down on, on, on stepfathers. Nobody yeah. is worthy of okay. the punani, so I, I exactly. gotta keep it to myself. Exactly. Wow. These men are not even consistent enough with their, their communication and their texting for me to even put myself in a position for you to mount me. Because think, think about it. Yeah. You go on to hang out with a man, mm -hmm. and he thinks in his mind he can mount you. Yes. That's I'm not true. talking about, oh, I can fucker. <laughs> mount. Like, do not. <laughs> Get off me. <laughs> Like, I will fight, I swear to God. So I, I, I'm, it's a drought. Yeah. I just what? rub one out and I just go about my day. Just Look, I understand what she's saying. The way she's worded this whole thing is terrible. Because she makes it sound like she wasn't that. She wasn't just giving it away. She wasn't just getting mounted. You know, you belong to the streets. I know you want to change up now, but it's too late. We already know where you are, okay? what i don't get when men are like what makes you think you deserve that and blah, blah 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 you know how men are sometimes i feel like even people have gotten stingy with dates where they're like why would i treat her to dinner i don't even like her yet like i would just take her to a drink and it's like no well, i deserve a full five course meal because i give myself this i took myself on a trip to italy by myself you wonder why the bar is high because I set it for myself. I have a high bar for myself and my standard of living and how I want to live my life. And if you can't compete with the stuff that I can give me, then you have no business being in my life or a part of it. Because I'm Keyword, not compete. Why would any man want to come into a relationship and have to compete with you? This is where they get backwards. What? No, it's we're going to be competing with each other now. This is unbelievable. So the more into herself she is, the more she can do for herself means that you should do things for me as well. Who is teaching these modern women how to think? Who's teaching these modern women how to think? I don't think there's ever been more negative influences available for women ever 
Like you can you can turn anywhere. Their their favorite artists, you know, their favorite Instagram page, you know, the shade room. Anywhere you turn, women are getting terrible advice. If I invite a man to something and he says sure, my brain hears no. Because what do you mean sure? It was a yes or a no. It's crazy because as a man, we all understand that women are a little crazy in the head, bro. Y'all make up your own fucking problems. So if you ask, you said if you ask a man out and he says sure, you take that as a no. When does sure mean no? I tell you what. If you ask me to pay your rent right now and I said sure, are you going to take that as a no or are you going to take that fucking money? If you ask me to get your hair done and I said sure, are you going to take that as a no or are you going to take that fucking money? You're going to take that money, right? You're going to take both of them as a yes, right? That's what I mean, bro. Y'all just, sometimes y'all just, I, I'm convinced y'all just be bored. Just fucking bored and you just want to, <laughs> you just want to argue with your man or whoever you're talking to or whatever the case may be. Have you ever been having a conversation with the guy that you're talking to, husband, boyfriend or whatever? And he look at you and be like, you just like to hear yourself talk, don't you? Because <laughs> some of the shit that y'all say, it just be, ah. <sighs> I love the rent example because it just shows the mental gymnastics you have to play for sure to mean no. But I think also, you know, when women talk talk to a guy, a lot of the time they get really excited, you know, and it's like, yeah, and they're telling their friends and whatever the case is. And, you know, I think a lot of women want that same excitement reciprocated. But men will always try to, you know, play it cool. So even though he says, sure, deep down, he may be really, really excited, but he doesn't want to, you know, you guys know what I'm saying. Did I do that? You don't fuck with him. Did I do that? Do you hear me? He touched you? Yes, he did. Did he? Yep. No, I Nobody didn't. fucking thought. Look at you, so... <laughs> he got you on camera. So what? this is the man that fuck with you. Rico, he's mean and you don't like him. Did I do that? You don't fuck with him. Did I do that? Do you hear me? He touched you? Yes, he did. Did he? Yep. No, I didn't. Fucking thought. Look at you, so. Why people have to involve their children in situations like this, I'll never understand. Why do they think it's okay to do this to, your, to, to their children? It doesn't, you know, and look, I'm someone who does not like the foster care system. I think it's awful. But in situations like this, you know, you've got to get CPS involved. Take the kids away. She, she, she doesn't deserve, she, she doesn't deserve. Your phone. I can't believe, I can't believe that you would leave. 